the global increase of dengue trend that has been reported to World Health Organization WHO is also experienced by Malaysia. Dengue has been in Malaysia for more than 60 years. Since 1962, when the first dengue outbreak was reported in Penang, the dengue trend continued to increase. Over these years, the Ministry of Health has been doing adult mosquito control using fogging and ultra-low volume spray and lava control using chemical and biological insecticides. However, the control and the number of dengue cases continue to grow. Until today, there's no single tool which can control dengue and therefore, at the Ministry of Health, we decided to try a new innovative method in the control of dengue. Furthermore, the Institute of Medical Research conducted a study on Wobakia mosquito in eight localities in 2017, all localities having shown a reduction of dengue cases by as much as from 50 to 80%. In July 2019, the Ministry of Health operationalized the Wobakia mosquito innovation as part of the dengue prevention and control program. As of today, Malaysia is the second country after Australia that uses Wobakia mosquito as a preventive measure in dengue program. In July 2019, Ministry of Health implements release of Wobakia mosquito in 11 localities in Selangor and Wilayah Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya. In 2020, we extended to eight more localities. Today, a total of 19 localities are involved in this project, including in the state of Penang. Before initiation of this operation, a proper planning was made in terms of budget allocation, logistics, facilities, equipment, technical requirement and training. Apart from that, we need to select the suitable localities for this operation. The National Technical Wobakia Mosquito Operation Committee and the Working Group Wobakia Mosquito Operation Committee were established in 2019. And these committees were responsible for the planning of this new operation, training for field staffs and implement it in the field with the existing resources. What is important for this operation to be successful is the annual budget commitment from the government acceptance and participation from the community to Wolbachia mosquitoes as a prevention in the dengue transmission. Community engagement is fundamental in any community-based project like the release of Wolbachia mosquito to fight against dengue. It goes beyond informing or seeking for consent from the targeted community. It starts with getting to know the community, creating good relationship, sharing of information and making the community to understand and believe in the intervention, creating a positive mind of acceptance of the community about the project. Most importantly, developing trust and obtaining undivided support and commitments so that the community becomes entirely involved throughout the implementation of the project. Wolbachia are naturally occurring bacteria found in 60% of the insects around the world. Approximately 6 in 10 of all types of insects, including butterflies, bees and beetles, have Wolbachia. However, Aedes aegypti mosquito does not carry Wolbachia. Wolbachia bacteria cannot make people sick. Actually, Wolbachia bacteria are not found in the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Wolbachia bacteria introduced into the Aedes aegypti mosquito eggs using technique called microinjection. There are two methods on how this Wolbachia mosquito release in the environment, either through release of Wolbachia eggs or release of adult Wolbachia mosquito. Release of Wolbachia uh, mosquito method is much simpler where the process of rearing done in the lab and the adult mosquito is released in the environment.
The entire production process of Wolbachia mosquito is done in laboratory. Firstly, the entomologist will initiate the process of egg hatching by releasing the eggs into water-filled container. The larva phase happens after the eggs hatched. During this phase, entomologists will supply nutrients into the container for further growth. Next phase of this cycle is the pupa phase. The pupas are transferred into paper cups and the mosquito growth cycle will reach the last phase of growth, which is the adult Wolbachia mosquito phase. Entomologist and environmental health officer from Ministry of Health will determine suitable location for placement of containers for Wolbachia mosquito release. The adult Wolbachia mosquitoes are released into the environment. During the release of Wolbachia mosquito, there will be a mix of male and female mosquito. In their environment, there are wild mosquitoes. When a male Wolbachia mosquito mate with a female wild mosquito, the Wolbachia bacteria is transferred into the female wild mosquito. Hence, when the wild mosquito lay eggs, all eggs are unable to hatch. This is called the population suppression method. When both male and female Wolbachia mosquito mate with wild male and female mosquito, the eggs laid will hatch normally but all the offspring will carry Wolbachia. This method is known as population replacement. Wolbachia bacteria in the female Aedes mosquito inhibit the replication of dengue, chikungunya and Zika virus, hence reduce the transmissions of viruses. Release of Wolbachia eggs method is more complex and take few steps. The Wolbachia eggs will be placed into the release container. Water is added into the container. And the container is placed at suitable location within localities selected for Wolbachia project. After five to seven days, the eggs will emerge into adult Wolbachia mosquito and it will be released into the environment. The smaller container is a trap to detect presence of eggs from Wolbachia mosquito. The device is also known as OV trap. These traps are placed in designated locations within the parameter of Wolbachia mosquito release and will be collected after several days. The next process is detection of Wolbachia in mosquito collected from the field. The eggs found within the OV traps are incubated and treated until adult mosquito phase. Selection and separation for type of adult mosquito are solely done by entomologist and technician in the lab. The mosquito is cured inside an alcohol container before being sent for further evaluation by the Institute for Medical Research IMR. Polymerase Chain Reaction PCR, is an assessment tool used for detection of Wolbachia in mosquito. Multiple process including separation and genomic testing are used to determine the presence of Wolbachia. Finally, total sample from PCR result will reveal the population or percentage of Wolbachia mosquito within a locality. The desired target of Wolbachia population in a locality is presence of 80% Wolbachia mosquito for two consecutive period of assessment in order to maintain adequate Wolbachia frequency in the environment. For these localities, fogging activities are prohibited to preserve the current population. Furthermore, the community involvement to maintain clean environment and removing or discarding potential Aedes breeding site or container are required to ensure the sustainability of Wolbachia program. A year after implementation, this innovation has shown positive results, as much as 95% mosquito reduction in the trial areas. 18 localities show reduction of cases and one locality shows no increment of cases. 
And as we way forward, we are very hopeful to expand the number of localities and more states involved in the operation. Basically, community engagement is a strategy of engaging, empowering and creating ownership in the community to achieve the desired results. In fact, the success or failure of a community-based project depends on the effectiveness of community engagement. In our case of the Wolbachia Mosquito Operation, it was a great success. I hope this effort will be able to reduce dengue cases and the number of deaths in Malaysia to put our country on the forefront in Wolbachia Mosquito in dengue prevention and control programme.